Coming in. Coming in. You know what that means. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Maria from What's the Story with Maria. How's it going? Woo. This is my favorite hour of the week every week. Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Eastern on What's the Story with Maria. Right away, we have Edie Gershman, my Rodana Fields partner, has joined us. Eudenia Mesa. Hi, Judy. That's my girlfriend. Hi, Honey Bunny. Uh, Allison uh, Dabdo and Andy Prasky. Hi, Andy Prasky and Allison. Jason Peck comes on every week. Nicola Irvasi and Ca uh, Cameron Mitchell Bell have joined us. Oh, thank you, honey. My oh, girlfriend said you look pretty. Sweet. She's so <laughs> she's the best. I love her. But you do. Uh, and thank the rest you. Of us, Judy, there are two. Yes, other Judy, can yeah. you please tell Thanks. them that they look pretty too? They're gonna be jealous. <laughs> Lynn Portis, my friend and musical director, has joined us. Uh Vanna Zaccario has joined us. Nicola, ciao Maria, ciao come stai? Hi, everybody. So we're so glad you've joined us. So this episode, Jimmy, who's our producer and engineer, Jimmy Bell, who I love, always asks me before the show starts, like, how do you, you know, like give the names of the people and what, you know, sometimes we'll write, like, discuss blank, blank, blank. Tonight I said, just call it, as Annette called it, Italian Palooza, <laughs> because it's three crazy Italians. That would be the subtitle of it. Sorry, you guys are all gorgeous, Judy said. Okay. Oh, you're right. right. No. Yeah. Yeah, she's right. <laughs> Michael Thank Harper you. joined us. Hi, Michael Harper. Okay, so... Uh, it is three crazy Italians. I purposely did it that way. I wanted to get Annette on the show. When Annette comes on and watches our show every week. Suzanne Mason has joined us. Stephen uh, Lowenthal has joined. Hi, everybody. So Annette comes on and watches our show every week, and Dominic does as well. Dominic's been on the show before. He was on with Lavinia Draper <laughs> last Halloween. It was Halloween, and Lavinia was wasted, and Dom, you and I had to Ooh. hold up the fort. So She was inappropriate. She was inappropriate. <laughs> I think she touched you a little bit, she right? She me tooed the shit out of me during that album. <laughs> I know. Oh, it goes, yeah, that's, that's all right. I know. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. So, but, you know, I, and I know. It's so I funny. wanted to give you another chance to be on the show. Also, I know your Christmas show is coming up, Dawn. Yes. And it's big. It's big. The highlight of the holiday season. And I wanted you to tell people about it. So we're going to get to that in a minute. Cool. Annette Zito is our friend. And she is an amazing chef. And she has a food show. Uh, she has a book. Uh, and uh, it's she'll tell us about that. So uh, <laughs> Nicola says, too bad I cannot be there. Uh, would be the fourth crazy Italian. That is true. <laughs> he was on with, um, with Kevin Albert, his husband. And... Um, we had a wonderful show. So, all right. So let's, I'm going to start with Annette because Annette has not been on the show before. Oh. You know the way it works. <laughs> so we're going to start with Annette. So Annette, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Now, not only, oh, Neil Parrish, that's your guy, right? Yes. Yes. Hi, Neil. Uh, Kenny Holcomb has joined us. I one person to the podcast. Yes. To the I'm, webcast. I'm glad. And I'm God. sharing stuff. So. Yes. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. Thank you, Annette, for reminding me. Annette, has gotten so far an A plus in class. She not only is reminding me of things, but she's brought products and flyers and food. So Annette, you you know that I've this is episode seventy two. We've had I have cooked for every Ooh, single I show. Seventy two is a good number, right? To share is seventy two. What? Oh. She's 72? <laughs> How could she be seventy two? She looks amazing. Because she turns back down. Whoa! I mean, you walked right into that. <laughs> that was so easy. I I I, I didn't see that coming. Huh. I love it. Show us your share shirt. Dominic is not just a comedian. Whoa, Dom, she's, she's in a mood. wearing her skivvies over there. <laughs> well, Whoa, now move around like that because I like the way she the, looks uh, when you move this around. This was a day her dry cleaning hadn't <laughs> come back. So her dry cleaning hadn't her come back. Her dry cleaning hadn't come back. She had to perform in her underwear wow. every day. But she was okay. 50 years. Oh, my God, look who's joined us. My cousin, Rena Berge. Rena, I have a present for you that I'm Rena. getting tonight. And I'll tell you about it later. Uh, that's right. A signed present for you. <laughs> it's so a cliffhanger. It is a cliffhanger. She's going to have to wait, but she's good like that. So, um, at 72, right, is a good episode. So, the episode 72, and you, I can't remember your exact, oh, wait, it was a number 16. Because you love the number 16. Oh, four is my lucky number, and 16 is four, four fours. So, you're going to be putting a home tonight. <laughs> no, I someday have a room right next to Heather Locklear, probably with all of these numbers. She Warren, would like you as a as a roommate. Hmm? Heather would like you as a roommate. Probably. Yeah, you I'll keep her, her ass out. Isabella Rascal, she's joining us. That's my cousin Marisa. I'm already falling off the couch. I know, Marisa. It's Italian Palooza <laughs> night. I'm telling you, it's crazy. When so when I booked the show, because hmm. as you know, I like to book a couple of weeks ahead. 
And I wanted to get Dominic on because his show's coming up, his Christmas show, and it's like an extravaganza and it's a big deal every year. So I'm like, who am I going to get on with? Oh, wait a minute. Now, <laughs> how, how cool would it be if I could get Annette Zito to be on the show with Dominic Pupa and Maria Gentili? It's it's going to be ridiculous. And we're all wearing the same. You can't. We oh, didn't all call each other. Wait, so we all have black shirts on and, and jeans. We, yeah, we have, well, you can't, well, see, you the can't see the jeans, but we all have jeans. Crazy. So when we start, so they're like, uh, yeah, okay. So <laughs> that's the Italian. That's kind of the Italian. Like we're, oh my God, my cousin Gina Savino has joined us. You know what that means? Gina Savino, everybody. We get a clap. Gina Savino comes on. Hi, Gina. Gina has a hair salon. She and her cousin, I mean, she and her sister, um, you know this. We talked about Joyce's Unisex Salon, 132 Ferry Street in Everett, Massachusetts. Go and see them and get beautiful or get more beautiful. Hector Garcia has joined us too. All right. So, yes, my girlfriend, Judy's <laughs> laughing at my outfit because she calls, she's always like, oh, you're wearing your uniform, which is like a black shirt and my and jeans. jeans. It is. She always goes, are you going to wear your uniform? And that's it. So this it totally is. Judy is the Italian uniform. <laughs> I didn't know if you knew that. We have Bronx Italian, right? Yep. And that. Yep. And then Long Island Italian. Yep. We didn't talk about that. No. We are wearing our Italian uniform. Black shirt, jeans. It's New York. What yeah. are you going to wear? It's New York. That's it. <laughs> Uh, um, okay, so Annette, let's start with you and tell tell us about you have a book which I didn't know you had a book. Let me see your book. Let's let's show the audience your book. This is Annette's Allow book. Me to hold oh yes, you please. Hold, right in yeah, you are. Yes. It's red carpet menus based on the best picture nominations of Oscar. I take the names of the films and I make food out of it. So, like for every year, right? Every year, um, every picture like when they went from five to ten i did ten dishes i i can't choose i love that all right so what we're gonna do brendan ryan has joined us he is a captain nypd hello brendan let me show this for a second up here and i also so that's what it looks like annette's book she i asked her to sign it for me oh that's dominic stuff oh that's dominic damn (laughs) damn all right now i want to show you some of these copy though this so great so she has pictures of the movies and then the dishes that go with that particular uh, year. And this is amazing, like year by year. This is the coolest book. Annette, I can't believe how great this book is. So I got a signed Thank copy you. as well. Now I'm coming home with it, babe. My husband just said we need it. I already have my copy. She He's got it. Signed it. It's signed to Dominic. I didn't know your name, so I didn't put your name on it. Too. Yeah, that's Steal right. Steal a copy. <laughs> what is wrong with him? He's not even Italian, and he's telling me to. Sign I know. It. See, so there Steal. it is. So if you get <laughs> I can't now, Annette, if somebody orders your book, can they get it signed? Um, if they want, I can send them um like a sticker that signs for their book. They send me their address. Okay. They'll also, if they buy it and send me um on my. Facebook page or any of my things, which are all kitchenette, they um, send me proof of purchase. I will give them a bonus bunch of recipes. What? That's what I do. Wow, a bonus bunch of recipes. I like the way I that sounds. I will email them to you. Fast. So remember, you get a bonus bunch of recipes. Bonus right. bunch of recipes. I love it. Chip <laughs> McGoldrich has joined us. Jim Prusy has joined us. Alex Rusin has joined Patrick Elliott. Hi, everybody. We're having a ball here. Uh, so, yes, Annette's book uh, is a Chris. Rena, I'm going to spoil the surprise. That's what I got you for Christmas, okay? I'm getting you a signed copy. Rena is going to love this book. My cousin Rena is amazing. I'm going home um, for Christmas, and I'm going to uh, be broadcasting from my cousin Marisa's house because Christmas falls on a Tuesday, and we have to do what's the story with Maria. Christmas Christmas is on the Tuesday or the Christmas Eve? Christmas. Actually, Christmas Day. No, Christmas Eve, we're having the fish thing. Feast of the Seven Fishes. Absolutely. The Feast of the Seven and oh, shoes. Mm, love, love that. Will Rena and Gina be there? Yes. I just like saying Rena yes. and Gina. Rena, so Gina, it's Ju- so ridiculously no, it's Italian. It's like and then we my have cousin a- Rena, my cousin Gina, and my and cousin- my cousin Christina. We have a Christina too. <laughs> I have a sister named Vinny. Are you kidding? A sister named Vinny? Your yes. sister's name is Vinny. Yep. All right. So we're in Italian world. That's here. it. We're in Italian world, and that's all there is to it. Okay. So yes, we're having a. Is it short for Vincenza? It is. Okay. Really? I don't know any Vincenzas. No, I don't know any either. My cousin married a Vincenza. I mean, it's- Is that true? Really? Yeah. So you're like a, a magnet a for real, that. That's crazy. That's a real Italian. That's, that's a real like Italian a name. That's like Conchetta is a very Italian name too. I know yes. Nunzio. Short, short it. name. Oh my God, Leo Rodriguez has joined us. You know what that means? Leo Rodriguez. We do that. I know. <laughs> Annette, you were like in it. I am, I am. I love that. All right, so um, 
let's, I'm going to flip back and forth between the two of you, Dominic, because I want to go Man. back to how you created the book. I mean, what made you even start this book? Because then we'll talk about, so no, not your, that's your I, book. It's not my book, but I was just holding All it. All right. I like that you her. do that though. I like it. <laughs> I can't even read, but I'm holding a book. You know what? It's okay. Because <laughs> is this the right way? Could Tom. Be. I'm sorry. When so, I'm being bad. And like the devil way, <laughs> upside down. When you're being bad, upside down. Well, I isn't like that, that like terrible? Like things upside down are like the devil. I don't, I don't know. know. Is that what your mother told you? Because she wants you to be neat. <laughs> Italian mothers tell us things so that we'll clean our rooms. When oh, they we're lie. Kids. And then yeah, that's what it is. Like my mother. Oh, I know what it is, and I still do it. If bread flips over, you're being disrespectful to Jesus. I never, that? and I went to 12 years of Catholic school. I went to 10 years of Catholic Holy. school. Did you go to Catholic school? No, I was an altar boy for nine years. That's though. your problem. I'm sorry about that. That's Everything all right? Thing. Everything work out? Huh? Okay. Everything's okay? <laughs> I can't uh, walk. No, yeah, I, everything is fine. Okay, everything don't say a word. I loved it. All right, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. Amen. Uh, um, okay, so anyway, what were we talking about? We were talking about, because I got distracted with the, the bread, altar. turning the bread The bread. Over. So if you drop bread... My mother would, or if let's say my mother came into the kitchen and the bread was like upside down, right? Mm -hmm. She'd say, oh no, you got to turn that over. That's Jesus. It's, it's the body of Christ. <laughs> bread is the body of Christ. So, I mean, that's what the Italians think. So you can't leave bread slipped over. Did you know that's a rule, by the I, way? I people. never, it would bother me if it was, but I didn't know yeah. it was religiously related. Well, I think that it isn't. What I'm, <laughs> what I'm saying is I think they blamed it on Jesus, but it was really because Italian mothers are very clean. Yes. And that would drive them crazy because they're OCD. You know, they're like, everything's got to be perfect. So what happens at my, sometimes I'll be at my job and like something like a package of a rolls will fall in the walk. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to put it back up. It it's a big deal. The body of Christ must not be upside down. Did you know that? <laughs> I've never heard that. Well, oh, this Jesus is, did. Rena, no, okay. I've heard that leaving the drawers open or putting shoes on the table were bad luck. Putting shoes on the table, new shoes, new shoes. Not or just new. Shoes. That's mine. I would say dirty. Yeah. This dirty so shoes many... is bad, but so... new shoes is bad luck. They're so. Rena and Gina are taking over. Gina Let's is laughing. Gina, did your mother ever tell you that? About the, the bread or the shoes or the. No, a lot of things are bad luck. You can't. Uh, uh, yeah, you Isn't can't. You drop a fork, you're having a fight. The what? I the never knife? heard about. <laughs> That's no. very West Side story. When the priest would leave, like when we were in the back of the church, the other. Is this going to be a, a, a dirty story? No, no. no. Okay. I, we would like throw, especially like when I, on the younger side of my being an altar boy, we used to like take the communion wafers and like. Stand across the room and try to hurl no. them into each other's mouths. Oh, like, yeah. If the, oh, when so I was you like popping a, a, a wafer. Yeah, like when the priest would leave, like he would go, we would hang back there and we would like take the wafers and like try to throw them in each other's mouths. Wow. How'd that work did, out? How did you do? Did you catch a lot of them? It turned me gay. Like literally. That turned you gay? Bread will turn you gay. Well, less, water into less wine. Bread less bread as an altar gay. boy. Uh, no, it was all, it was so blasphemous too. We would literally stand across. <laughs> The other side, not the rectory. How old the room in the back? All the altar Anywhere boys did between this, like these scandalous and 17. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, yeah, most of them. Like if there was no one in the church, we were just there. We <laughs> go, body of Christ. And oh no! Oh, Overhand. No. I swear. Hey, listen, they and have. We would drink the that. wine. In and football, they the have wine. a hail mary pass. And in, in the, in the altar boys had a body of Christ pass. It was that's, like that's fris, food frisbee. Almost. We were like dogs. We were like food frisbee. That's what dogs. boys will be boys. That's what they'll do. That's what altar boys will be altar boys. Body of Christ. Look never out. Ding, ling, 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 ling. Never got caught. I, got caught and then the ring the bell. And then ring the bell. You never got caught? Never got caught. But you know God saw you. Uh, Jesus saw you and the Virgin Mary. I'm gonna go home and turn over every loaf of bread that's in my house. No, <laughs> this you, bread right next you to you can't it. have if it falls. You've got to flip it for the rest of your life. Now, and that's how you He's make up for get the, me now. Go, go long, body of Christ, go long. I love this. I couldn't even throw then because you know me throwing overhand. It was like it just crashed yeah. to the ground. That's all right. That's how they knew because there's other things you're good at, and that's all that matters. Throwing yes. underhand. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about let's talk about your show because you yeah. are great at that. Thank you. I do. I'm doing a holiday show. I do one every year. I didn't perform a lot this year, but I saved all my energy for the end of the year shows. So I'm performing in New York on December 15th at the Cutting Room, my favorite place. I love the That's Cutting great. Room. Yeah. The sexiest room in New York. It really I is. A it. We always have such a good time. And uh, the week before on. The 8th, December 8th, I'm performing in Los Angeles at a great space called Muse in Studio City. 
Ooh. and the week before that, uh, on December 1st, this Saturday, I'm performing in Chicago. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there because oh. Michael Woolley, do you know Michael Woolley? I know who, yes. Michael Woolley, who's my friend friends, for many, many, many years, lives in LA. Yeah. So this is great. That And, and he, I believe he lives close to Studio City. Also, Darcy Blakesley lives. Uh, we have a lot of LA listeners and watchers. Michael just popped on. I want to give a shout out to Michael because he's very hardworking in this business. And he just got a role, and they're filming it now, in an amazing new show called AJ and the Queen, starring RuPaul. And Michael plays RuPaul's roommate. It's me. Awesome. It's, He's been taking us through the journey on social media. And if I'm not mistaken, today was the day he got eyebrows back, which he had to paint on himself. I know. So this please is go it. to his Facebook page and look at Oh, God. I, photos have been I do live by. Oh, Michael, right. one of these shows you have to call in, honey. I know maybe you're not able to talk about the show yet. Has he not been on this show before? Oh, yeah. He's been on oh, the show. Okay. He was on the show maybe like a year ago, huh, Michael? Um, and he's my buddy and he comes in and out of New York. So we see each other a lot, but now he's like, he's very busy. So I don't know when we're going to see him, but maybe you can call in sometime, Michael, and let us know what's happening. But Dominic, tell us the LA dates again. The LA date is uh, December 8th at Muse in Studio City. The Chicago date is this Saturday. Edie, are you listening? Edie's in Chicago. Edie! Edie. Get on it, Edie. <laughs> and all limited, the my, all the ro- limited space. The Rodan and Field ladies, they're all from Chicago. All the, those girls that are partners in Rodan and Fields were they are Chicago girls. You would love Dominic Poopa. Edie. See a show. Get a group together. So here's what the Chicago show is gonna be a lot of fun because my friend, uh my friend Jason Balin, uh a few months ago opened up a cooking school in Chicago Ooh. called uh Get in the Kitchen, based on for years he's been doing also cookbooks. Wow. Uh, for like probably six or seven years he's been releasing cookbooks. So he opened up a a party cooking school and he does really fun uh, groups like gay single guys or he'll, he does corporate parties and stuff. And he also does like, they'll open at midnight and catch all the drunk people coming home from the bars and then make your own pizza. No, (laughs) It's like, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. So he has space for 40 people. So we were talking, I was like, why don't I just do my uh, holiday show there because every year I, I do, I've been doing oh. it in Chicago first. So just, it's very intimate. It's just 40 people. And he's going to do the first hour is him doing a, a cooking class, like showing people how to make apps for your holiday parties. Right. And right. then once everyone is drunk and full <laughs> enough, I will then come Apps out. meaning appetizers, not appetizers. apps for your phone. Isn't it no, no, sad no, no, no. that that was my first, when you said apps, oh, was I, it yeah. like, no, no, no. That's appetizers. the world we're in. I know, but that's, you know, that's what happens. Yeah. So Dom, this is going to be great. So if people want to get tickets to the Chicago show, what do they do? For all three shows, you can go to my website, which is oh, domentary.com. The word commentary, but with a D. I can't that. believe you printed that up, and I forgot Annette, to bring it. Annette, who got Annette an A-plus in this class, brought this. Annette I can't. brought Dominic's flyer. Domentary.com has all the dates. So remember, Chicago this weekend, L.A. next weekend, and then our New big York. show is in New York. Oh, my God. Are you doing any share songs? I'm Is not this time. I'm okay, not. that's all right. I'm not. That's all right. Show us that shirt again. I love. I that love the shirt. shirt. Dominic, and move around a little bit. Wiggle around a little bit. Whoa! I love She's it. She's dancing. She is dancing. Oh, I love her. I love. We love Cher. Oh, Leo, Cher that's, that's it. it. Thank you. What that's did Leo website. say? Get He's in the kitchen. Website. Leo. Leo. <laughs> is amazing. Let's do it together. See One, two, moment. three. Leo. Rara. Yes, he is amazing. He's we call him the accidental intern. Because if he can <laughs> has time to watch the show, which is almost always he'll sneak away, he'll pop on the websites. So now, uh, thank you, and we're gonna we'll go thank back you. and forth. Thank to you what's... for always letting us come on and, and yes, you don't stuff. understand. It's, I mean, it's how you're, you're thrilled wonderful. I am to have you come on the show and promote. Like I I looked, I knew when your show was coming up. I'm like, how how long ago did I call you? A month ago or something? I was like, Dom, you got to come do the show. What's a good time for you? And I was thrilled that you could do it because I want people, the whole point of my show is I have the best friends in the world. I have the funniest friends in the world. And sometimes when I'm home in Boston, I would like tell my brother-in-law or something like, oh, I know him or I know her. He'd be like, no, you don't. I'd say, yeah, I do. I'd see people, you know, you're watching Law and Order. I'm like, oh, that's my friend so-and-so. Or, oh, yeah, I know a guy. No, you don't. I'm like, yeah, I do. Those are my friends. So it's the truth. I have amazing friends and I want to promote them because in this business of being creative, it's great. We get out there, but it's hard to promote yourself all the time. After a while, you're like, oh, does this feel like self-indulgent? Or is this like, 
you're having your regular job and it's hard to so my job i hate talking about myself <laughs> no dom i know that, that about is a lot so <laughs> you talk about so you yes in a please good way. talk about bring you with me yes yeah. she's good yeah. annette she's like your pr person already <laughs> She brought the materials. It was she already did. signed. I did. And I'm going to, I mean, it's not time for our food section yet, but it will be soon. And then this is a, a first. Annette actually made the food for our show tonight. You know, I've made every single meal uh, up until, except what well, made the family show. Everybody brought something, which was great in Boston. But Annette actually made, created a dish. We're going to talk about that in a minute. It but smells Delicious divine. in here. It smells delicious. It smells it it smells like Sophia Loren's bosom in here is what it smells like. It's wow. that Italian. <laughs> she loves so her pasta. Italian. I like that. She said that many times. Judy, oh. did you hear that? Oh my God. <laughs> Judy, you better get home. <laughs> Judy, before we eat everything that's Oh my God. Like that. She that it is smells delicious. Luscious. It was so uh, I said to Annette, she uh emailed me the other day, is there parking in your neighborhood? I said, Yeah, there's never a problem. And then today I go out there and they're filming a movie. Of course. Which to people that don't live in New York sounds like, oh my God, what? They're filming a movie on your block? They film no. movies on our block all the time, right? But it, that's the good news. And I love that everybody's working. How wonderful. The bad news is all the parking's gone in the neighborhood. And so, that irritates me. I, I, I pride myself on finding parking spots. And I actually tried. I know. But they have all the cones set up and nothing's in the cones. And then I want to slap them. I know. Where were, where, where did you park? In a lot. In a lot. She parked in a lot. But Park Wiz. Yeah, I'm not promoting them, but my God, it's so cheap. Always have Park Wiz people. What's Park Wiz? Is that an app? That it's an app that? that shows you where the garages are and it gives you a really good price to go really? into a particular garage. You just press the button and you drive in and you're already paid. Do you're you know who was me. what I love movie it. were they shooting or who was? Did you, did you it's see called was? Uh, God Friended Me. It's a movie called. Oh, God it's Friend. not a movie. It's a television show. Oh, it's is on it? Channel 2, I think. Called God Friend of Me. It's a, and they're filming the next few days. They film in my neighborhood. Well, that's where my parking angel went to be on that show. Oh, really? Clearly, God friended me, my parking angel. Wow. Oh, <laughs> I'm liking this, and oh, I, I like where party. you're going with this. Laura Metz has joined us. Kia Nelson from Philly High Kia. She joins us every week. Jeffrey Campbell, my sweet friend, he joins us every week. I love you, Jeffrey. He's Kelly great. Moore also popped in here earlier. What? Yes. Where is yes. Kelly Moore? She I love Kelly somewhere. Moore. Unless she John left. John Fitzgerald, we miss so many Maybe people. Maybe she left because you didn't say her name. And she was Lynn Portis, I love you too. This. Man. Um, <laughs> so many great. Brooks Decker has joined us. He's wonderful. I'm trying to scroll back down. So we, Your people Tom have Greenlee. such nice names. They do, right? I like do. they just, it sounds like a cast. It does. They are a cast. There are supporting casts tonight. Yes, See? absolutely. All right, I know Dom's like, oh, Davis Lawson. Dom's like, that's so corny. No, it's not. I love that. <laughs> All right, Annette. Well, thank you. You have well, an opening theme where you like turn around like Fallon and Dynasty did. And oh, oh. Are we well, on? now Annette, you, you know, do that. Like Lynn Portis will have to write my theme song. Okay, because she is. Uh, she's Here's scores, Kelly. She's Kai Kelly. How are you? <laughs> Lynn Porter's score has scored many a movie. And for, we were talking about Chris DePiro earlier and how much we love Chris DePiro. Chris, they asked me, who was that guy that was running your show while you were in Italy? I was like, that's Chris DePiro. Right. And um, he is amazing. And Lynn scores his movies. And they're funny, amazing things. So Lynn Portis will have to write a What's the Story with Maria theme song. And we may have to have some kind of an opening. You're right, Tom. Because you're a producer, too. Do an opening, yes. And just, we'll do it. You have to put yourself on there, all the, these people. I think all the regular people should be the in it. The line of them coming through. down. Yeah. Like, literally, the screen we're yes. watching. Yeah. What? Really? Mm -hmm. Annette, you're really savvy on this. She was trying to show me some, like, uh, Mac stuff, like uh, iMovie and all that stuff. And yeah, because she's going to be on my show on Thursday. Did I? This is so cool. So it's, a, have, it's like a crossover. Oh, no offense. No, None you could have been on. I'll be out of town. <laughs> Fine, be like that. <laughs> you're gonna, are you gonna go no, perform your show around? Wait, the do you oh do God. one of these shows as well? No, no, no. I do. I do a YouTube channel. So um, talk about that, Annette. Tell yeah, everybody what I you have, do. Oh wait, with my little sheet. Yeah. Tell so us about I it, Annette. I have um, a, a YouTube piece. channel. And this is my site. And then there's my book again. So you can Here, go there. Here, hold it up while you tell the story, Annette. So I have a YouTube channel where I make delicious dishes every week. I say they're delicious. Oh my God, they I don't are. I just suffer tasted. calories. You know, if it's not good, I'm not eating it. Right. Thank you. And uh, I have a channel that I make delicious dishes on, and I and decided to make one in the book. I don't know. I always forget the book. It's, you know, no, right it's amazing. Me. Oscars are big. You have to sign up just to see what happens during the Oscars because that is so much fun. Kitchenette yeah. is the 
is the greatest name. I knew you would it's like it. It's the greatest name. <laughs> it, yeah, it, we all love puns. We love We're a like pun. Puns. It's, it I came know. out of my father wanting to open up a kitchenette. Oh, God. See, I even say it wrong. I do that. Yeah. He wanted to open up a luncheonette, and I told him he should name it Kitchenette for me and my mom, who's Antoinette, but they call her Annette on half the side of the family. <laughs> anyway, he said, no, I'm going to name it Carmine's, but he never opened it. And then I thought Kitchenette cracked me up. I have to do something with it. And that's how that's it all how it started. started. That's great. Yeah. Well, your dad had, owned, had restaurants when you were a kid, right? Yeah. We had a deli when I was growing up. Nancy's Deli on Morris Park Avenue for all you Bronx people. Still there? No, it's um, been gone for a long time. But he had us working like from little ages. I was saying I was. I know rolling. Marisa I understands this because her dad, my cousin Marisa, oh. her dad was a baker, and oh. they were literally working in the bakery till they had to go to school in the morning. Like they were working overnights. Oh, so I Italian that. kids. I said the only kids that work harder than Italian kids are Asian kids, uh -huh. because we start at like nine, they start at three. And if you're not working in like a family <laughs> business, you're working in your house. Oh. Make the bed, do the this, get the that. Absolutely. Now this is a side story, but it's true. One of my old friends, um, her dad was in the mob. I won't mention her name, but they literally, he had them so- Lisa. No. <laughs> so, anyway, this is a true story. He had them soaping money. <laughs> and washing it? Talk yeah, about because, literal laundering. Yeah, laundering money because they had to get rid, like- Whatever they were doing, I was like, uh, I don't know if I should know that story. She told me a lot of crazy stories. But anyway, so Italian kids, whether you're in the mob or not, <laughs> we work from like the get-go. So yes. that you, you said something about making meatballs as a yeah. little kid, right? Five years old, you're rolling meatballs to catering jobs. It was a very... Because he was a caterer. And I literally remember it. Like it wasn't even like a story told. It was, you do it. And you know, here's another nice thing. My father did catering jobs for the Jerry Lewis Telethon in New York. Really? And he gave the food away. Oh, so I he would be that. up working the whole time and get the trays Sweet. in and out and in and out. That is amazing. And he has stories about all the celebrities. Well, now your dad has a nasty. produce company, right? Yeah. Can we frequent produce. that? No. Oh, well, you can't. You can frequent wholesale. the restaurants that we serve. Okay, and what's the name of his company? CZ Wholesale Fruit and Produce. Okay, CZ. So if you have a restaurant and you need some produce, you should go to CZ because CZ yes. is very has been very generous to the telethons and done a lot of great work. And, and on this Giving Tuesday. It's Giving Tuesday. Right? It is Giving Tuesday. It well, is. so on Giving Tuesday, Annette brought our food. Now, I'm thinking, I know it's early, but I'm thinking we have to, if it's okay with you, Dom, we have to forge ahead in early into the, forge. the, the part of the show called, remember the part of the show, Annette? I love this part. Okay, it's called, Go Ahead, Keep, keep eating. eating. Dom, do it with us. Go, Go Ahead. ahead. Keep eating. I love it. Dave, you did not have this part of the show when I was here. No, we did. Time. We did. We didn't do it. Well, we didn't do the go ahead, keep eating, because right. I think I just segued, because Lavinia was drunk, and you had to handle her because I was losing my temper. Right. And remember, she was outside, drunk. You had to walk over her. She tried to molest you. I, I there was a lot her. going on <laughs> that day. And so I think that I didn't want to traumatize you even more by forcing you as Lavinia had forced you to do something you might not be comfortable with. End of story. That's, I'll leave it there. Sense. All right, so now. Should we move that up? We miss, uh, what are those? Oh, what's happening? Who's called? Anybody else? Well, because. Um, Let me see what people are saying. Know. Kisses to you, we says Kelly, Kelly Moore. I love now. Kelly. Oh, I think I see a friend You from see a friend, school. Danielle? So I see Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Danielle Nic uh, Nicoletti. She says, hello, that's your friend? Yes. Okay, Stephen Daniello. Oh, my God. Stephen Daniello is a chef. Steven, oh, you from Fire Island. Yes, oh, he's, he's for real. He's he's I'm, the I'm real. I'm sure he's worked other places than Fire Island. He's a, a, he's doing Fire a million things, and he was just doing a, uh, something for Thanksgiving. Oh my God, he's always doing something. He's amazing. Steven, you, we got to get you on the show. Maybe I'll come out to you. He's way out in Morristown, out there, or Dover. That'll away. be another show you don't cook. Yes, that's right. It's this, Steven. I didn't cook tonight. Can you time. believe it? <laughs> Annette, who is also a chef and has a, a yeah, you are Annette. I cook. Annette, you have how many episodes do you have already? I have a lot. A lot, right? And she has a cookbook, so she's a she's a chef. Okay, Stephen Daniello, I like the kitchen. At, right, kitchen Annette. That's See, so he fun. gets it. Jill Anderson has joined us. Speaking of Morristown, she's out that way. All right, uh, Leo Rodriguez, go ahead, keep eating. He loves all that. Everybody is food. Let's do it. Let's. M Marisa and G uh, Gina have said. Le okay, Isabella Gina. Ovi Rina, Vargas. Marisa. I went to high school with Ovi Vargas. He played Jesus Christ. And God spell, he was amazing. All right. I still remember that. I still remember how handsome you were. Okay, we're going to forge into our roots. Stay right there, Annette. 
Okay. All right, this is unbelievable. Uh, would you please hold this up, Dominic? And Annette, to. please describe your dish, which I did not make. Annette made it. And because I always do punny food, or not always everything, but because anyone who knows my Oscars knows what I do, I she's Maria Gentili. So I made Maria Gentili, and it's an Italian <laughs> I chili. It. I have Italian sausage in it, and onions, and long hot chili, uh, long hot of uh, Italian peppers, red hot. Why, why I want crushed, to say the red hot chili peppers, but that is a band. Um, yeah, the crushed, crushed uh, red pepper. And ca ca salt and pepper. The beans. The cannellini beans. My favorite. And uh, are my crushed favorite. tomatoes. It's really simple. And oh then a little God. ricotta on top. And you could put some Romano cheese. We have a little fresh um, parsley. Beautiful. And it's all for her because it's Maria's dish now. Maria Gen Chili. You, Gen Chili. Can you believe this? I had a dish named after me. This is... Uh, uh, the, one of the biggest honors of my life. I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> Have you ever had a dish named after you, Dominic? Um, I think maybe someone made a soup after me once. Really? Mm -hmm. I what like kind that. of soup? Do you remember? I don't know. It just oh, come soup rhymed with puke. So I thought it was like <laughs> Dominic Stupa. Oh, or Stupa. Stupa. Now you can eat Stupa. Stupa. Like, oh, the damn. Go with that delicious that. bread we have. What kind of rolls? Ciabatta. Make sure they're not upside down. No. because that, Okay, that's let me show you Jesus If this was upside down. What would you Ow, do, Oh, Jesus. You would... It would just bother me that it's No, down. no. Put it back. What, what are you going to do? My mother's getting what upset. But it does fit it. in the hand nice because it's got that. that curve. You Nothing don't happened. flip. Jesus is insulted. It's an Italian thing. You do not have bread upside down. It's disrespectful to Gesù Cristo, right. to Bambino Gesù. Right. That's it. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, baby Because Jesus, Jesus doesn't have Jesus. anything on his plate. He's it's Christmas is coming. He's trying to cure war and famine, and he's going to stop. What do you think Christmas is about? bread in Maria's apartment. What's the reason? Jesus is the reason for the season, Dominic. Allegedly. My Jesus sounds like Joe. Don't tell that to Santa Claus, which comes from Boston. What does? Santa Claus? The whole Santa Claus thing. Is that true? Yeah, I looked it up once. Wow. Like the whole Santa Claus is a Red Sox fan. I knew it. All right. Well, look at his outfit. Dominic. Ma'am, that's a I made this that delicious salad for you. Salad. This is a nice classic Italian salad. What I did was I got red leaf lettuce. I have to have one. Please. And oh, Boston, nice my red. favorite red peppers. And Frank Boston Brown lettuce. Is there romaine in that? No. No, romaine. <laughs> you only serve romaine to people you don't like right now. That's right. Don't eat that romaine. No right. romaine. Hey, that's a... It's his ideas there. And I was like, I'm so sorry I served the romaine to my bitter enemy. I didn't wow. know. It was this whole meme on the thing. What was it? The I got Mar-a-Lago. No, the oh, that was begging Mar-a-Lago to serve romaine. romaine <laughs> so what do we have here? We have uh, Boston lettuce because, of course, I'm a Boston Italian, and then I believe it's pronounced Boston. No, go it's ahead. Boston. And Boston. then we have a uh, red leaf lettuce as well. I chopped I them all up too. together. Red peppers, Sicilian olives, my favorite. Ooh. Oh, my Dom, aren't you Sicilian? I'm not. I am Calabrese. Oh, I'm, I am Calabrese. You Calabrese. Uh huh. I, on. I can't believe that's got pits in it though. In that, I know. I, have to I know. I love pits though. So. All right, and then uh, so we got what else? A cucumbers, Good and celery. Now I know you like celery because I saw some of your dad's recipes for salads, and they like the the um, mm. shrimp salad and the. He was going crazy. He was making all sorts of salads. How got cute! Mood. And he, I love celery too. So this we're gonna put a classic balsamic mm. res. But please eat. Red, red balsamic and just classic extra virgin olive oil. Mm. Filippo Berio, that's it. That's what we do. That's what I use too. Yeah, it's the only I thing my it. mother would use ever. <laughs> really? She would never say go get the olive oil. She said go get the Filippo Berio. <laughs> really? It. See, I never heard, I never knew of, of uh, Filippo Berio until I was an adult for some Oh, reason. yeah, the, the Italians, that's all that we use. We I use anything. Kind of As a matter of fact, that was a sin too. It was not against Jesus Christ. But it was a sin against maybe St. Rocco or something if you use some, anything other than Filippo Bello. <laughs> Kevin Scott That's Collins. That's in the New Testament, this. right? <laughs> yes, Listen, absolutely. Be, yes. Right. Um, like Anthony Fett, no Romaine, no Anthony. Lynn <laughs> Colbert. Lynn yes. Colbert's your friend, Lynn. right? My husband's Lynn. in love with you, Annette. That's oh, yeah. I, I Real, love you. I'm in love with Annette. So I, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I love you because I love him. Well, you're you going to love, love him, him too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you're he's, both. The, he's the nice one. He's, is that true? You're nice too. Uh, not really. Just really? All right. Now listen. Tell people what else you do. Oh, what that's is your so day cool. job? Because I think it's cool. I'm a television producer. I am. Uh, I executive produce a show on TLC called Long Island Medium. I don't have that you heard of show. it. It's just a little show. I, I did not create the show, but I picked it up halfway through its run. It's been on for 
Uh, Ever. Yeah, we, we've had a lot of since almost eight years. The show's been over eight years. And you and you've been miracle. producing it how long? Five. Wow. Five wow. years. That's a big deal. My, I the found company that out I work tonight. for pretty McGill Entertainment, and I'm the I, yeah, I'm the showrunner for that show. That's amazing. Wow. Great group of people. She's amazing. She is as she. I'm sorry. Am I? No, 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 not at all. She's exactly as she appears. Every anyone who meets her will tell you she's exactly as she appears on the show, which is so cool. Yeah. So Manny Soto has joined us. Dar uh, Dowling has joined us. Dar, I'd love to have you on the show sometime. She's a what's, filmmaker. What's Dar Short is Dar Short. Uh, Darlene. Darlene. Yeah. Both of those. Names. Yeah, she's really cool. Um, okay, uh, Vaughn Moten has joined us. Hi, Vaughn. Where are you living? I love the name Vaughn. He's too. so handsome That's too. Uh, okay, and George Hernandez, yeah, my friend, Ge names. Cuban George, as I call All him. All the names are like um, it's <laughs> yeah. a cast. It's like a, it is a cast. Yes. You couldn't. They're beautiful names. Uh, uh, right. I'm telling you, one after another of beauties, all beauties. George is now an artist. He was a psychotherapist for years, a, a doctor of psychology. Now he's an artist. You see how wow. we reinvent ourselves. We were talking about, uh, Annette and I earlier, and, and you're on this too, that we have day jobs that finance our art. And it's yes. important to like your day job, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, Annette, your day job would be working. At my crazy father at the warehouse. Right. Yeah. But that allows you to do your creative stuff. Absolutely. And you uh, do the producing, which is also creative. Of course, you have to be on. Yeah, it's uh, uh, it helps. Right. And like feeds it, you know. Well, that's bit. what it is. One thing. And you're because yours has to do with food. So you then you're 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 talking about food and creating recipes. And I work in nightclubs and, you know, I bartend, I teach all that stuff. And I'm a musician. So it's just all part of it. Mm. I love the word nightclub, Maria. I like it. Night I love the word nightclub. Why I love is it the old word. School? Yes, that's why I love. It. I love nightclub. I love yeah. the word discotheque. I love yes. all those words. Those are good oh, words. I miss. I never words. just say the bar. No, it's a nightclub. I don't like it. I love the no, word club. Unless you're I actually going club. to a bar bar. But right. when we were that's kids, different. you wouldn't go. The, 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 the Italians didn't go to bars. No, we the Italians went to nightclubs. Oh, you just went dancing. Social clubs. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, regimes. Regimes? What's a regime? Regimes? All right, so that... What is it? I don't know that word. That's your Boston coming out. Yeah, this is a New York thing. Regime was a major dance club yep. in the 70s. My parents used to go all the time. Really? They definitely yeah. played second fiddle to Studio 54, like right. reputation-wise. Right, it was a different wise, style. It was a really? though. Oh, yeah. It? And where yeah. was it? Was it in the city? Steve Gorn has joined us. Yeah, Hi, Steve Gorn. It was in Manhattan. Remember. Does anyone know where Kevin Regimes Stockholm? was in Manhattan? I if feel like know. it was uptown okay. somewhere. Upper Regi East and it was like somewhere? a big dance Regimes. club. Did they have live yeah. music or and was it disco? Dinner. I think we had my sister's disco. high school Listen. dinner after she graduated there. We used to go dancing. I mean, in Boston, we went to all the discos. We loved it. It was like... Uh, oh my God! There was I can't Club Metro. There was so many. I can't even remember them now. Um, maybe if my Boston people can like, uh, Marisa, what was that club that your that your husband Rina, and your brother? Gina, Christina, no, Marisa, Bambina, <laughs> say something. Hey, Angel Gonzalez has joined us. Angel and I have the same birthday. Hi, Angel. Um, you know what? Are you making fun of my family? Because I bet you got some Italian yes. names. What are your family? Oh yeah. Names? By the way, yes. is your dad Dominic as well? Yeah, everyone in my family is named Dominic. Okay. See, my the mother's name Dominic. <laughs> Wait. Speaking of your mother, can we talk about your mother? looking like Cher. This is actually my mother. Please tell us that story. <laughs> I love this story. Stop it. No, I, I told you this last time. I I love, but tell show. it again. A lot but of the you, people I were watching. I don't know why. I don't. I said to you, what made you have a fascination with Cher as a kid? When I was a kid, when I was three, when the Sonny and Cher show was on, it was in 74, I, I, she, my mother looked exactly like Cher. At that time, she and still I, does. I pointed at the television and I said, "Mommy, I thought it was my mother." And that How was how cute. And so my yeah. mother doesn't look like. Well, my mother now looks like Cher, if Cher had, uh, you know, maybe lived a, a different life, had a different Didn't set of doctors. Let's just say, <laughs> shall we? All right. My mother looks like organic Cher. That's what I'll say. Oh, oh that's oh, a I nice like frame. That. That's Rena said the friend. palace. That's what we had a place called the palace that we. That was in Boston. With. Yeah, but there was another place. Marisa helped me with this that all the boys used to go to, and they. I mean, there's so many places. Yeah, the discos. I love the discos. Those were fun. I know we're all. Uh, many of them anymore. No, but you're you're and, younger and like than us. House music. Yeah, house music. Like, yeah, you are. I want to hear songs. You want to sing along while you dance and have good segues. And now there's nothing. And really, it's like I said, you go to a wedding, that's when you could like That's when you can well. dance. Yeah, I miss those places. Maybe we can just throw dances, you guys. 
Let me tell you, could, I, I have. We could. We could throw dances. I'm gonna I'm gonna shout out to the Cardinal Spelman High School class of '83 because we had our reunion <laughs> recently, and everyone it was the rockinest time. Lasted till wee hours of the morning, and I think a once a month that would be awesome. Wow. Yeah. See, we both. All said people it. can rock. I just realized wow. that I forgot to talk about dessert. Oh God! Eee! Bring it on. Yeah. You know, speaking of Italians and mothers, my grandmother always had around this time of year. A coconut custard cake. Coconut custard, <laughs> as my grandma would say. Go buy the coconut custard. And this was the coconut custard. And I That's always jones for, it's true, right? I always oh, jones yeah. for a coconut custard pie around this time of year. I did not get one at Thanksgiving. We have one now. Coconut mm. custard pie. Coconut custard. Mm. My grandma just turned 99. She's really funny. Aww. So, oh, oh no, she's I, every time I see her. her she Facebook. is a tough she's guy. Gorgeous. She is so funny. And she, my girl, my cousin Rena got a, like a scepter and the, the robe and the crown. <laughs> she was singing at the top of her lungs. She was commanding it. She took the microphone. That's it. Well, Italian's her first language, right? Oh, she's from yeah. Italy. Yeah. yeah. She still has a really thick accent. She's been here since 55, 1955. Wow. But she still has a really thick accent. That's just the way it goes. So I had all my grandparents. Three of them were born here, went back there, came back here with their Italian accents. I and they were American. Oh, my grandmother was a born in a pizza bird. Oh, really? Like, that's what we <laughs> said. Oh, pizza... I was a born in a pizza bird. Well, pizza bird. Yeah, yeah, Robbie, pizza, pizza bird. bird. That's the way they would say it. Yeah, it's hysterical. Loki has joined us. Hi, Lokis. We have so many nice people. Mm. Okay, so um, is your show, Dominic, is there music in it or just comedy? And how long is it? It is about an hour. It's a little over an hour, depending on the restrictions are for the venue and the but new york show what night does that fall on that's a saturday oh, i'm working they're all saturdays Jeez. saturday at seven saturday december 15th at seven o'clock at, at the, the cutting, cutting room. room thank you annette annette is on <laughs> i don't She's even on. have to do anything oh it's my hand got... that hand i'm all screwed up with the i side. like that though <laughs> Snapping away because it's the opposite of what we're looking. I know, right? and I'm right. lefty. Oh, so. I forgot to tell you that. Yeah, that's the only thing with the Facebook Live. I it's that not was me. a mirror. No. <laughs> I know, it's right? Not, it's very it's weird. the opposite, but it's cool. Um, it's easier to look at your friends, not yourself. Well, that's what we do. We we we're looking at. Oh, we're doing behind the scenes. I now. do. I find oh. myself looking at the comments, and it's not even the right side. I love I'm looking at the. I'm comments. on the left side of the comments, thing. so I can't. No, I'm going like that, but I'm actually on the left. Now I want to tell everybody. Please feel free. To share the show, you can share it. Share, share the show. <laughs> share, do, stand up again and dance. I love it. Feel free to share, share the, the show. show. I love it. That's a new dance move. That's really good. See, that's yeah. the only one I do. Yeah, well, but that's all good, you need. It's a good move. If you just keep doing that with your share shirt, who cares, right? I only have yeah. one dance move. It's this. Like that's my oh, big. That's, that's my big good, move. Though. You like I it? I don't have an actual. You don't movie. have any dance moves. No, I can dance, but you I. You don't have like your like, signature. Yeah, there's move. nothing. I'm not like. I'm lame. sure Judy's cracking up. She's like, oh shit, that move again. <laughs> She's always doing that move. She's always like, oh no. Where do does this. Judy? Where does Judy go when this show is happening? She is probably at her apartment right now. I, I believe she is. Sometimes she's. Coming home from class because she's getting her master's in business and mm -hmm. she, uh, yeah, she Judy's like, that's hard. super brainy. And so she is sometimes driving back from class at, at William Patterson and she'll have the show on in the car. Sometimes she's already home. So I think she's home right now. She's probably like, oh no, not, don't dance. Don't dance. Don't do that dance move. But you did it. But I did it. Yeah. She was in here last time when I was doing there. I took it that. personally. I'm sorry. No, she <laughs> wants, oh, that's good, Dominic. Now it's wait, I, dare I appreciate you. that, but I gotta say it's not that good. Come on, just, that's my on. big move. I I I, I might have created that move. Well, Listen, know, can you New do your thing? coming might be time for an update. Yeah, that should be your resolution <laughs> to get a second dance move into your repertoire. You know what? All right, all right. I mean, I'm something gonna... that's attainable. You know. You know what? All right. A new dance move. Yes. Making sure you never overturn a loaf of bread because. I will no, that one's already done. No, no, no. That does. That's not going to happen. No, every now and again, turn it. Barbara over. has joined. Who's Rick. Barbara Falcon? <gasps> my that... Barbara, I love you. Oh my God. That's no, a... you lo would love, love, love Barbara. Barbara is, she is Italian? awesome. She is Same not Barbara's Italian. De Bishop. Oh, oh, that was easy. Barbara Falcon De Bishop. Barbara oh, Where's the chili? Falcone she said, we just showed the chili. Here, let's show it. Oh, we yeah. showed the chili. Dominic's on it. Oh, yeah. All right, talk about your chili. One and, more and Barbara, I put the regatta. Barbara told me I should use regatta. Barbara. My mother's name is Barbara. Oh. Barbara. We love so Barbara. Talk, talk about the chili again, which you created. It's the Italian sausage. It's the love. onions, the long hot peppers, 
the tomato, the red chili pepper flakes. Crushed. Crushed. I know. I'm just I done. love it. And, what and else the regatta instead and then of the sour regatta cream. With, yes, Could thanks to Barbara. Barbara, that was such a good idea. She's great. When I say things like that, it just falls out of her face whenever I ask her, like, what to do for get out? She said, veg out. Ve I love and it. And it was bam. I love it. I love it. Veg out for get out. Yes. Now, somebody just asked what Dominic Poopa's, um, Dom, uh, how do we find, what's your website again? Let's oh, say it. She, Bring it's it up. Dominicary.com. Uh, here, I'm going to hold it up. And um, Chip just asked this. I'll hold it up and you Chip, spell it's it. Chip, it's dominicary.com, like commentary, but with a D. D O. See, Annette and I are here to just M on the shit out of this, this show. M N T A R Y dot com. I said it a second time. I, said I know. It Paul Unison is. They've been saying it on television a lot lately. What? At times, like now, that seems to be like it's becoming like hell or damn now. What's that? I like that though. What the S H I T? Well, because I said, oh, you can say that on television now. I, I've been hearing it like, and it always makes me double take. Like, what did I just hear on regular? Like, what I know so, am some I things, on? or yeah, some things it's you can flowing. say now. Yeah. yeah, I guess they've loosened some restrictions. I could say so many things. I know. That, based I know. on the word we're using, that's. Funny. I know. I'm. I, I. I'm trying not to go there because we. Uh, we <laughs> try we're not talking to go about there. food. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk about it. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> your favorite know. curse words. Give us your favorite thirty curse words, guys. My favorite thirty. Now I'm not doing this. I'm not falling for this. You <laughs> always try to get me to do something that I said I wasn't going to do. And you always will ask turn me. Turn the bread. Turn the turn bread. Turn the bread. I'm telling you. I, well, I turned the I'm going to risk I know, that but yes. you're, listen, that's your but karma. you're not afraid I'm to not. Don't call me tomorrow morning and be like, a shelf fell down in my apartment. Jesus saw that we were with No, you turned, turned it. I have Stephen Daniello is leaving the building. I just friended Dominic and Annette. And, oh, okay. Yay. Stephen, Stephen Daniello, well, you're going to love him. You. He's amazing. Fire Island chef. Incredible. Um, you're going to love Stephen. So we're going to have Stephen on the show. I can't wait. Um, we'll... What the hell is Trump? Oh, okay. Trump We're not saying his name. Stephen was there. He who should very be handsome named. too. Stephen's very handsome. He is. I think Stephen was at the place when Cher went out there to do her Hillary Clinton fundraiser. I think I saw Stephen there that day. I think that was. The last I time think I was he was him. there was two years ago. I'm he might have. Positive. I'll have to go back and look. Yeah, but I, I think he's gone now. If you go to Stephen's page, which uh, I, I forget the exact his exact page, but if you go to his um. Facebook page. He's got a website and mm -hmm. all the something catering, but I'll oh, think sorry. of it in a minute. That's fine. But he's uh, he's like a chef to the stars. Yeah. So he's cooked the Cindy famous. Lopper. There he is. Yes. Oh, I love yes. that. Yes. Yes. Right. All right, Stephen. Can you just type in uh, where they would go to find your website, please, if you don't mind, because I can't remember it off the top of my head. Oh, Andrew Holmes has joined. Yes, we love Andrew. We love Holmes. Andrew Holmes. Oh, Andrew is also producer, isn't he? Yes, we work together. Have you that's, really that's on what show? Met. I actually met. Uh, we worked together on the A-List New York when that was on Logo. We worked on that show together. Wow. And Andrew, I think, did Wife Swap. He right. did. We must have been there at the same time. You, well, Wife didn't you do The Bachelor? Up. We did work. I did, but I didn't work on that show with Andrew, though. I, okay. I remember Andrew being on Wife Swap. I think Andrew was on Wife I, Swap. I have so much to ask you on a whole other world. We can't do well, that. Well, he tonight. can't disclose. And it's not my show. No, I signed oh. all those non-disclosure I just want to know the list. It's okay. Exciting. Oh, my God. So this list, is. But I violate them all the time. Stephen <laughs> Daniello's site, which is, you're going to love this, because it's the official sharechef.com. But it's Cher, S-A-R-E. That's the worst Cher impersonation you've ever seen. No. I like top five. Top five worst. That was pretty okay. Um, I've eaten Stephen's food before. <laughs> yeah, he is uh, amazing. Oh, see, that's yeah. a chef. He's food, famous. I think, uh, yeah, he is famous. Mm -hmm. He's famous. And he has great stories. He called into the show once um, and just told us, like, how he got started. It was just amazing, you know, um, just like working in a bakery. Somebody mm -hmm. dropped, literally dropped a cake. And it was it was coming and like tipped it or in the box. And he, as the kid that worked in the bakery and cleaned up, had to reconstruct it by himself because he was like, oh no, you know, somebody left it behind the door. And that's the oh, owner wow. found out about it, gave him a raise, and said, I want you to work in the kitchen. Oh wow! Isn't that a great story? Yeah, I love that story. So it, you know, you never so know. He's that. hero chef. So yes, how did <laughs> Annette exactly? Yeah. How did you start cooking? Just, was it in your family business, right? It your was dad? totally in the family. You're at, you're eating food. You're talking about other meals. It's that you, there's oh never not. Oh my god, that's food. what we do too. It's it's a weird, sick thing, and I don't have friends like you know. You have those friends that are just hungry. Yes. And they're like, okay, I'm just gonna like have a little soup. It's like if you're oh, not passionate no, putting no. food in your face. No. I can't like pull no. you close. You're not. Thank like, you. That 
you person. know what's even worse? This is one of my biggest pet peeves because I you're, there's no way we can be friends. Oh, for God. If you say to me, no, I don't mean that. If you say to me, oh, wow, I forgot to eat today. What? Oh, the no, hell? I've done that. No, you I forget never to How happens. could you forget to I eat? I have actually done that. But once I remember again, I make up for it. But how do you forget to eat? Busy, time flies. When you're editing videos, I'll tell you, yeah, eight hours true. flies. So don't hate people for I that. Always but have those snacks. people that are like really, really tiny and they go, oh, I forgot to eat. Or like they, I need, how about like, when and then a, you want to pop them But they face. have so many food restrictions, you want to pass out. Yeah, it's like, not well, can't just, it's like, stop. I'm sorry for everybody who has an allergy. No, we're not serious? talking about people make but that the up. People, yeah, the people who are like, oh, sometimes I, I my like dad gluten. does that. Like, my, I'm gluten intolerant. You just don't want it. You know what my dad does? Some mother's. people are. Oh, your mother's here? My mother's here. Talk about how handsome I am. Oh, he oh, is. is. That he? Dominic is amazing. Is he, Barbara? And he's he wearing is. you on his shirt. He. We, we were talking about Look you, Barbara. in your picture. We were talking about you. He is so handsome, Barbara. And I would love to meet your mom sometime. And Next time I'm on the show, I'll, I'll bring them. Would you please? Oh. Sure. You do studio audience here once in a while. All the time. Yeah. Listen, I, I love studio audience. As a matter of fact, um, Christmas, of course, Christmas night falls on uh, uh, a Tuesday. I'm going to be in Boston. My whole family's going to be, we're going to be at the Raskowski's. My cousin, Marisa Raskowski, mm -hmm. uh, we're having a, a Christmas at the Raskowski's. It's the name of the episode. Okay. Uh, so that's, that. isn't that great? That's so that's amazing. Gonna, but I date. Will Rena and Gina be there? Yes. And Joyce and my sister Carla. Bambina. There is no Bambina. Tina? Will Nina be there? Tina will be what there. What about Christina. Regina? We might have a Regina somewhere. Maybe. Why did maybe I married a Regina. So yeah. See. And uh, but you can studio audiences all the time. I have studio Judy so often in the studio audience. See, Leo is now wondering why he's not. Has he been in the studio audience before? He has been in the studio, oh. audience, but he was unruly. <laughs> and he interrupted the show and at some point and bill coffee has been in the studio audience too he was also on so you have to kick them out i have to you know i gotta play it by ear no i love leo leo's very helpful and uh, he has been on the show he co-hosted with me once because he's from california and we did a california uh west coast theme show okay focus show and he was on that show so leo is he's sung along with us and all kinds of things all right so we're coming we have four minutes left to our show Let's, what do you want to leave them with on that? What do you, if people are out there and they're. Okay. Because you're very adventurous. Okay, people. Yes. Go to my website. <laughs> sign uh, up. Go to YouTube. Sign up at Kitchenette. Subscribe. And buy the book. Wait. Where's our I'm book? I'm getting the book. Buy the damn book. It's the holiday season and people are entertained. It also reminds you of movies that you've totally forgot mm -hmm. about. And where do they get that book in that? Amazon. You can just go to kitchenet.com and you'll get all the information. Amazing. Sign up. Be part of my world. I'm going to yes. need you come Oscar time. I really am. I love that. I'm going to need you. I'll come, come back in the Oscars. Yes, definitely. And, and they're going to need you come Oscar time. As well. Oh, yes. yeah. Thank you, Dominic. Oh, yeah. And Dominic, what do you want to leave them with? I want to leave them probably with a prayer. A Maria? No, I don't. Um, that the bread, that turning over the bread won't make Jesus take me you know to my what? sleep. <clears throat> Dominic, I, I am performing in Chicago this Saturday. I'm performing in LA on December 8th, and I'm performing right here in New York on December 15th at the Cutting Room. Please go to my website for tickets to all of those shows. It's domentary.com. D O M M E N T A R Y.com. Okay, so there's a lot going on, and you know, you have your holiday gifts coming up. I am not putting up any decorations until it's actually December. That's my rule. Because November, I dedicate to Thanksgiving. But now, as of tomorrow, as of midnight tonight, I could just pop it's a It's all tree. about the tree. It's a tree. It's about the Rockefeller Center mm -hmm. tree for me. Yeah. When oh, is that up, what it is? That's true. The they're season. going up tomorrow, right? Oh, is that right? Rockefeller so. Center tree is tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That's early, a little early. Well, I think they do it. They have it. It's sort of like Thanksgiving. They just do it like a certain amount of weeks. Like right after Thanksgiving. And that tree is very special this year, you know. Why? Because, because the, the two... Uh, it's two gay women that own that farm. Oh. Yes. Oh. So, so they took their tree. They, that was the tree that they chose. And it's, it's so New York has a, mm. a tree. There yep. you go. That's all I'm going to say. And how nice, yes. <laughs> you know what? You're not going to say the, the 20 jokes you're thinking no. of? No, <laughs> the there are no have... jokes. There are no jokes. There I'm just no... saying, let's open up our hearts and just include everybody in the world and stop well, none of us. So friends. we're going to stick with the tree. Are... We're going to talk about the tree. The tree. The but tree is it's giving Tuesday. Give people a break. <clears throat> What's up, Jimmy? How much time do we have? A minute. Okay, that's Jimmy Bell. He's our producer and engineer. He's my friend. 
He's fantastic, and we love him. Thank you, Jimmy. We appreciate you. Armed Radio is our mother station, armeddigitalmedia.com, armedradioglobal.com. Go check out. You can listen with your tuning app if you're just driving your car or walking down the street and you want to listen to our show, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Tuesdays also, we're on spotify.com. What's the story with Maria? iHeartRadio and Spreaker. Just type that in. My face will come up. This is episode 72. We love you and appreciate you. Have a wonderful night. Share 72. That's how it's easy to remember. I'm 72. (laughs) She doesn't sound like that.